as I said, there's a storm between here and the mainland, and all planes flying north from Bermuda have been grounded until further notice. Then uh, my pilot will fly an alternate route. There's no way Teresa and I are spending the night here. I'm sorry, Teresa. My pilot confirmed that it's too dangerous to leave now. If we take an alternate route, there's too much turbulence. It wouldn't be safe. I'm afraid we're stuck here tonight. I can't think of a, a more beautiful place to be stuck than Bermuda. Oh, the island at night. Uh, it steals people's hearts forever. Why then are you so desperate to leave, Mr. Crane? I'm anxious to leave because I have a lot of work to do at home before the wedding. And I know that Teresa wasn't expecting to stay either. I'm sure you have plans of your own. Oh, I I'm fine with it, Ethan. Besides, spending the night here will give us a more complete take on the resort. We're going to need a second room. Well, the only one left is a small room next door. That's fine, I'll take it. Uh, Teresa, you can stay here. Enjoy it. We didn't pack anything because we weren't expecting to stay the night. Is there a shop where uh, Teresa can get what she needs? We have a wonderful boutique downstairs. I'll escort you to it personally. Yeah. I know you didn't expect any of this, Teresa. I didn't either. Ethan, stop feeling guilty. It, it wasn't your fault. It's fate. And it's useless for us to fight it. Isn't she lovely, Mr. Crane? It's not to your liking, Mr. Crane. Let's try the other one. Oh, but that one's even more sheer. Oh, no. <laughs> Nothing more sheer. What you have on is nice. Really, really nice. I'll take it. <laughs> An excellent choice. You will also need a gown for dinner tonight. Oh, I'll, I'll just wear it I flew down in. Dinner in the hotel restaurant is formal, my dear. Oh, everything is so expensive. Teresa, and I... don't worry about it. Buy whatever you want. Indulge yourself. I mean, after all, you're only here because of me, and we cranes take care of our own. Do you really mean that, Ethan? Absolutely. I want you to have whatever makes you happy. Oh. I have some delicious things for you, my dear. <laughs> Ethan? beautiful. Well, I mean the outfit. It's beautiful. That's just the top. Show him what's underneath. She's pretty as a picture, isn't she? you could take a picture of your lady. Great idea. <clears throat> you look fantastic, Teresa. Wait till you see me with my hair done up. 
and the gown I'm wearing to dinner tonight. <laughs> Don't blame Teresa for this. I mean, it's not her fault she keeps popping into my mind. I mean, she knows better than anyone that I love Gwen, and I'm glad to be marrying her. If you believe that, good luck. Teresa, I, I can't eat dinner with you tonight. Why not? That's what I'd like to know. I, I have too much work to catch up on. You understand, don't you? Yes, Ethan. I understand completely. <laughs> He's afraid to be alone with her. Greg, the young lady would like your approval on the gown that she selected for dinner tonight. Oh, well, that's not necessary. She'll be dining alone. Are you sure you won't reconsider working tonight? Your companion looks absolutely exquisite. I'm sure she does. But... Uh, Teresa! Come and let Mr. Crane see what he's missing. My God. It... Wow. Do you like it? Teresa, you... you bring every man in the restaurant to his knees. Perhaps you could have dinner with the lovely lady after all. No, I can't. I have to finish my work, I'm sorry. That's okay. Thank you for your help, Miss Wilson. You're welcome, my dear. I wish I could have done more. Enjoy your dinner. Thanks. Your bill, sir. Ah, thank you. Do you, uh, think that, uh, Teresa will be okay, dining alone? <laughs> alone? The way she looks? Not for long. What do you mean? Many single men come here for dinner, hoping to find the woman of their dreams. Surely you can see that Teresa is one man's dream waiting to come true. I'm sorry. The ladies with me. My apologies. For everything you've done for me, Teresa, I couldn't let you dine alone. <laughs> 